My name is Damon and I'm a ranger here at and beyond Pinder Private Game Reserve. One of the most important things about becoming a ranger is learning about animal behavior. And so over the next few weeks, we are going to be having a look at different kinds of animal skulls to understand how the animal works. This giraffe, when it was alive, will have fed on leaves and fruits from the tops of the tallest trees. And to help it to chew those leaves, it's got some very special teeth. So let's have a look at those. Because this giraffe feeds on leaves that need to be chewed into very fine particles before it can swallow them down into its tummy, it's got special molar teeth, just like the ones that you and I have at the backs of our jaws in our cheeks. And these teeth are for grinding plant matter into very fine particles. And that will help the giraffe to digest its food. If we have a close look at these teeth, look at how well worn they are. If I feel them with my fingers, they're smooth underneath which means that this giraffe was very old when it died. Another key feature of this giraffe would have been its eyes. And see over here, that's one of its eye sockets. And if I turn the skull to face towards you, see how the two eyes are positioned on the sides of its head. So not like your eyes and my eyes, that are in the front of our face so that we can see straight in front of us really well. Because this giraffe has to be on the lookout for predators all the time, it has its eyes on the side of its head so that it can see in a wide field of view to keep a lookout for any signs of danger. And those eyes would have been really, really good at spotting any potential predators coming in from a distance. They also would have had long eyelashes in front of them or on top of them to help the giraffe to avoid getting sticks and thorns in its eyes as it feeds among the trees. And when these giraffes fight, when they swing their necks at each other, the heavier a giraffe's head, the more effective it will be as a club and as a weapon. And so what these old giraffe bulls start to develop is little deposits of bone around their skulls. And these deposits of bone help to make this giraffe's skull heavier for fighting. Surely one of the most charismatic features of a giraffe is that incredibly long neck. And for me, one of the most amazing things about that neck is the fact that it has the same number of vertebrae in it as a human neck does. How is that possible? One moment, I'll show you. These are all the vertebrae from a giraffe's neck, from this giraffe's neck. And look at how long they are compared to ours, which are only a fraction of the size. And that's how it's possible that a giraffe can have the same number of bones in its neck as we do in ours, but yet its neck is so much longer. Let's try and put all seven of these vertebrae together to see how long the giraffe's neck actually is. It's as long as me!
hope that this has given you all some valuable insight into how a giraffe works and that you'll be able to use all of this information in your journey to becoming a ranger. Now join us next time for a different animal in another episode of How an Animal Works.